Welcome to our video. Hope you enjoy this. Then I'll turn off the webcam. And it takes me to my screen so I can work here, so I'm going to move that out. Let's go ahead and go through this one. Read that problem to me. Uh, 6.2 minus 3. 6.2, you say? Okay, you're going to do all of them. Minus what? 3 and Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and convert this into fraction, first of all. So we know we have six holes, right? So it's going to be six. So we're just going to look at the point two. So again, if we want to convert point two into fraction, what do we do with it? Two on the top, good. And then we reduce it, and in this case we can divide both by two. Two divided by two is one, ten divided by two is five. So we can convert this to six and one fifth, minus three and one half. Now we're kind of at the starting point where we were before, and we can take our fractions aside, one fifth minus one half. Can't do that, right? Got to convert. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by what number? Times two, and this one times what? Times five, good. So let's do that down here. Well, let's do it over here. Let's do one fifth times two times two. One times two is two. Five times two is what? Ten. Now let's convert one half times five. One half times five times five. What's one times five? What's two times five? Ten. So I'm going to rewrite my one fifth converted to two tenths. So I'll have two tenths minus uh, one half converted to five tenths. So I have minus five tenths. All right? So uh, can I do this? Can I do two minus five? No. No, so my two tenths has to borrow from his friend the six. Okay? So I'm going to borrow one out of there. So that's going to become a five. And what does, what do I actually add down here? So I add in how much? One, but I want to convert that into fraction, correct? Because I'm dealing with fractions. So what fraction am I going to make the one into? Oh, two tenths. No, ten over ten. Ten over ten, good. So I have ten over ten plus two over ten, and that becomes what? Ten plus two is? Twelve. Twelve. So I'm going to rewrite this over here as twelve over ten minus... 5 over 10. What's 12 take away 5? 7. Uh, wow, that was a sloppy line. Um, 12 take away 5 is 7. Okay, so I have 7 over 10. So the fraction part of my answer, let's bring it up here, is going to be 7 over 10. What's the whole number part? Well, I'm left with 5 take away 3, which is? Two. Can I reduce seven over ten? Yes. You cannot reduce it, can you? So my answer is two. Wow, this is sloppy. And seven over ten. Good. So that we did that one together. See if you can do the next one. And I'm gonna.